<clears throat> Take number three. What's up, muscle car people? This is bring it muscle. What? Take four. Take four. What's up, muscle car people? This is bring it muscle cars, and I'm Matt. We got some big news today. Why you clap? I don't know. I just do that, man. Why do you always gotta harass me? Rich harassed me about that too. All right. We got some big news. We got. I know we just got a lot of work done to the car. But guess what, sometimes when you get that work done, then you find you need some other stuff to make everything else work right. L live and learn. Live and learn. I should have done this in the first place at the same time as everything else, because everything would have been a little cleaner probably, but I didn't. And now I learned my lesson. So, I didn't, I didn't learn my lesson? No. I'm not gonna make the same mistake next time, Kenny. So, How many kids you have? what? How many kids you have? Hey, hey, hey. All right. So, we're going to install an ice box in the trunk. Seven pound ice box. I know what you guys are all thinking. Let me see it. We got to see this thing. All right. Bam. Here we go. So, here's the ice box. It's from PNR Welding. They do a lot of these ice box that fit right in the spare tire well, and they also do some square ones for a bunch of different cars. So if you have a supercharger and you need an ice box, look them up. So they're one of the few that offer a complete kit. One thing I like about this, they modify it for you. So you could have had the pump inside. They had a couple different pump options. I went, of course, with the biggest pump because that's what we do here. I went with the upgraded eight inch red cap so I don't know but so I went with that and that's pretty much the, the only upgrades I did I didn't get it powder coated I don't really care about that but no I don't I kind of said I didn't get it powder coated <laughs> But it is what it is. But I came with all the hoses to run from the front and then also back to the tank. And then all the little doodads. So a lot of these kits didn't come with all this. It was basically just the box and the pump and then you kind of have to figure out the rest on your own, which I probably could have done. But never doing one of these before, it's easier to spend maybe a little extra money and get it done. So that's the new part I'm gonna install, which is gonna require some work because it's not just slip in and I'm done, mostly because there's something in the way. Let's take a look. So the battery is in the way. So we are gonna move it over to here. I think the ground will be long enough to reach, let's hope. And that's going to be the first step. So first step is going to be remove the battery and move the box. Alright, so the ice box is sitting in there. And now my problem is where does the battery box go? Because it doesn't fit anywhere because of the roll cage. Because the roll cage is straight down if it was bent and up higher it would work I'm gonna have to like build a bracket or something to mount it right there which isn't the most convenient thing especially since I'm right-handed in I need to go right there to put the ice in. Bring it muscle car problems, I guess. This is what happens every time we try to do anything. We're working on day two of the ice box install. Why is it taking so long to install an ice box? Mostly because the battery, we had to remove the battery and the roll cage is in the way to make it easy. So I've come up with 
let's say a simple fix. It's not the best looking fix, but it's going to work pretty well, I think. So we're going to do that. And today, we only got like an hour into it so far. It's not like we spent six hours on it. We're an hour deep. So first thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to drain the coolant from intercooler, heat exchanger, all that, that system. Because we're going to, my goal is to, as that's draining, fix the battery box location, nail that down, and then also, hopefully today I can at least run one hose from the front to the back. So we'll go that route and see if we can do that. Let's take a look at the trunk and just see what we're working with so far. So this is what we're working with right now. So this is gonna, the ice box is gonna mount here. I'm gonna leave it right there. So the problem is, now where do I put the battery? But I have a bracket that I'm gonna use that's gonna cover this whole area. It's gonna hide all this, it's gonna hide the pump and everything. I don't know if that's good or bad, but either way, that's what's happening. So, that's what we gotta work with. I'm gonna have Jared maybe remove, he's gonna be here later. I'm gonna have him remove all the neon lights just so they're out of the way. And then we're gonna go from there. So hopefully by the time I leave here, I only have a couple hours, but by the time I leave here, I have a hose hooked up to the pump. So that spot will be taken care of. And then I'll have to do the drain down here, which maybe I'll be able to get that done too. And then also um, the return line from the front to here. So we'll go with that direction. <clears throat> We're gonna get started. So the pump is right there. The pump fails on these a lot. You really should replace them every couple years anyways. But I'm happy that I don't have to remove the bumper. Because the bumper is a pain. But I'm going to remove this this hose, the hose from the the pump, and and then drain it all out. So that's the direction I'm going to go. I'm going to start and then just let it drain. This is the line that's going from the tank up top. So I'm going to start there and then work on the battery box as it drains. Okay, so coolant's draining. There really isn't that much coolant in there. Uh, now, I'm gonna work on the battery box until I get that done and then move back up to the engine. Let's see how far I can get today. So this is gonna be my fix, let me show you. All right, wow. I just gotta say, look at that wrap. Look at that color. It's, uh, I still love it. Okay, so don't judge even though I know you're going to and I totally would too. So. The simplest solution I could come up with is this. Basically taking these two pieces from Lowe's and then I'm going to mount the battery box to that and then mount them to the car. Uh, is it the best way to do it? Mm, no, I would say not. But it will get me through. I still want to race for another <clears throat> I don't know, two months, if possible, to the end of November, if possible, and then I can get it taken care of, right? And I bet you in the end, it's gonna end up with a solution like this, but with like better, with better brackets and stuff. I mean, in the end, it's not a horrible setup, it's just I'm using cheap metal from Lowe's. So, all right, don't judge. Even though you can judge, you can put it down in the comments. You can tell me what you think. So, I'm gonna drill a couple holes through the battery box and mount them that way, and then go from there. All right, let's do this. So, this is essentially how the battery is gonna be mounted. It's all hooked up now. I need to get some shorter bolts, so I didn't bother doing that side but I need like, I don't know, probably half inch length bolts, just so it's not super long. But you can see it running all the way across. And we're gonna mount it that way for now till I can get it something better made. I don't know what I'm gonna do. 
But so this is how it's gonna look for now. I gotta go. I think I'm gonna paint it black just so it's a little less obvious. Um, and then I think I'm gonna trim this side down just so it's it's not gonna hit the the battery shut off. Make that smoother. I don't have to worry about anything then. So that's the plan. So back to the hardware store. Alright. So, in the end, I had to take the front bumper off because there was no way to get to this fitting. Just, I mean, there was just no way to do it. I think if you had some of the other ones, both fittings are on the other side, or this one is down low. If it was down low, I could have gotten to it, but the way it is, I couldn't, there was no way to do it. So, I really like the VMP. It fits smooth. Uh, fits good and it was easy to install but I just couldn't get to it without taking the bumper off so next time which will be day three hopefully we'll be able to wrap it all up and really should only have a couple more hours to do it I guess I have the wiring to do which could take a little while but the hard stuff the mechanical stuff really should be wrapped up and in the end if I didn't have to mess with the battery I could have had it all done in just a few hours but so I got that hose off got that hose off from the intercooler um, that side it's all drained so I just have to finish I'm gonna have to take this off I'm gonna remove that that will actually clean up some space in the engine bay so I'm gonna wrap up this video just want to say thanks for watching hit that like button hit that subscribe button smash that notification bell and don't forget if you got a fast car you better bring it thanks for watching